Hey, what's up, gang? Uh, I just um, I just wanted to uh, make a short video and uh, tell you guys why Black Pigeon Speaks is a legend. I, I like the, I like Black Pigeon Speaks. Uh, his videos are like very very sophisticated. They're very well researched. Um, they're very high quality, and he puts in a lot of work and a lot of research into his videos, and I and I respect that. And uh, he's a, uh, you know, I, I would say he's kind of like a mysterious character because he never shows his face. A lot of people don't know what he looks like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Which kind of like adds to the mystique about who he is and everything. But I really like his content, you know, and uh, and the stuff that he puts out, he can't really refute it because he always backs up his research, you know. And um, and he's like one of the very first. Um, YouTubers, you know, in this category that I discovered, it was uh, Black Pigeon Speaks. Um, I started watching Dave Cullen. Actually, actually, I discovered uh, Dave Cullen first. Then I started watching Black Pigeon. Um, I, st I discovered um, Sargon and a few other people. But he's like one of the first ones I started watching. I would say maybe back in late 2016 early 2017 i started watching his content and uh it, it's very you know and i really like it and i know like uh a lot of people don't like it because he deals with um you know things with uh race realism and things of that nature he goes into the refugees and you know the iqs and all the kind of stuff and a lot of, and a lot of people can't handle that because it's too i mean it's too truthful for them, you know, but, you know, but I just find it fascinating, and, uh, and I was just watching this, uh, one of his latest videos he put out, he put, he was talking about, uh, Alex Jones and him being censored, and, uh, you know, you know how, like, a lot of people, you know, especially people in the left, uh, they'll say stuff like, well, you know, uh, YouTube is a private company, Twitter is a private company, Facebook is, Facebook is a private company, they can, they can censor all they want to, but with this video, <laughs> I'll tell you, man, uh, people cannot use that excuse anymore. But uh, I don't want to ramble too much. I just, uh, I just want you guys to take a look at it. Now, let's just take a look at the three large so-called private companies that have just recently banned Alex Jones for his political positions. Well, the prototype of Google, the owners of YouTube, was developed with funding from the National Science Foundation, DARPA, and NASA. Facebook was able to open its first data center in Prineville, Oregon, with a $42 million income, property, and excise tax holiday. And Apple was developed with a federally backed fund that invested $500,000 into the startup. And when it announced in 2012 a new $1 billion data center in Reno, well, Nevada slashed its tax burden by $89 million over 10 years, the largest such break in state history. And this is nothing to say of the technology that was developed by the U.S. government using U.S. tax dollars that have been essentially transferred for free to the for-profit tech companies. There are thousands of examples of other companies too, like Motorola, Oracle, Microsoft, and others, but you get the idea. Your tax dollars in grants, subsidies, and defense contracts gained and backdoor deals made with three-letter agencies and the transfer of military technology for free and the ability of big tech to avoid paying their tax is what has built the so-called private companies of Silicon Valley that have now taken it up. Yeah, I don't want to play like the whole thing, but <laughs> uh, Silicon Valley and all these social media firms... Uh, really uh using they're using your tax money so technically they're not private companies so 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 if you hear somebody uh com coming to you say like well they're a private company they can censor and ban who they want uh just show them this clip <laughs> you know what i'm saying just show them the clip and uh, you know you know they can't refute it so but, you know, it's just fascinating how, like, uh, people use that excuse as to why, you know, they can, you know. And I'm like, you know, I think I don't understand what social media companies is like. Okay, you created, like, a platform where people can, like, you know, 
express their opinion, speak their mind, or whatnot. And uh, I feel it. And I think like with Twitter, you gotta be like eighteen, to have a Twitter account or something like that. Yeah, you have to be a certain age or something. So pretty much, uh, most of pe- most people that use social media, they're adults already, eighteen and up. So. If that's the case, then why the hell are you censoring and banning people? You know, you can't treat adults like minors. You know, if you're 18 years old, you know, you can join the military. You can go overseas and kill people. You can drink. Uh, you know, you can do porn. You know, <laughs> you know, I mean, so what's the point of censoring and banning people? The only time social media should ban people or censor people or shadow ban or, wh- or whatever it's a, if it's if somebody's uh doing something illegal like putting up putting up child porn or threatening somebody or what you know you know or like um you know threatening to kill somebody's family what whatever which you know which is a personal which is a personal threat which is illegal or something or doing you know something to that something to that effect you know what I'm saying but if somebody expressing a political belief a religious belief or whatever, you know, don't ban them. And, and it's up to the individuals who uh use so who use social media to ban and block people, not the platform itself. Now, if you don't like something, if you don't like a video, if you don't like a content creator, just don't watch it. Period. Nobody support nobody's forcing you to watch Alex Jones. Nobody's forcing you to watch Black Pigeon Speaks. And nobody's forcing you to watch my my videos or anybody else's videos. You know what I'm saying? So the whole idea of them banning people, I mean, it goes against common sense. And that's pretty much why the big name social media platforms are gonna, you know, lose money, you know, they're gonna end up uh being out of style because uh, a lot of people have a sour t- a sour taste in their mouth after that after that Alex Jones incident. In the in a in a in a lot of liberals and Democrats that I know personally don't don't like the fact that he got banned from uh, Alex Jones that got, got banned. Even even they even they kind of scared. They kind of like pissed off about that. So, but you know you know I'll be to get a chance. Just uh, I, I put a link to the video below in the description and uh, just watch it and just pass it on. All right, guys, peace.